So these are the products that I use to um, bleach my knots on my frontals. And so I'm going to show y'all everything that I'm going to be using. Um, right there in my son's hand, I'm going to zoom in, is a pair of disposable gloves. And it's latex gloves. If you're allergic to latex, please do not use those. Um, also, I'm going to be using Shimmer Light's Original Conditioning Shampoo and Shimmer Light Conditioner. And then also I'm going to be using a 20 volume developer. And then those two packets are the Clariol um, powder that I use to mix with the 20 developer. And then the applicator brush is what I use to paint on the frontal once I have the mix the volume developer and the powder together and then that little bitty bottle in the middle is to help tone it down if it gets that orange yellowy look it helps to tone down that when I bleach the knots and the hair I'm going to be using of course is Eunice I'm gonna do a quick review of the hair real quick this is the Indian body wave and I have a this is an 18 inch frontal okay it looks so gorgeous 18 inch frontal I also have an 18 inch bundle one 18 inch bundle and as you can see it looks really good I know I reviewed some curly hair not too long ago and then I also have 118. So all together I have 118 and then I have two 20s. Okay. And it comes like that. Just like that. And then I'm not going to take this one out. It's also a 20. Okay. And then it comes like this in a bag. The bundles do. And they're very pretty. Y I wish I could feel how soft this hair is. Like... Eunice, y'all have my <laughs> vote for like the best affordable hair out right now. Like seriously, like for real, cute. And they give it to you in this pretty little box like that with the handle. I just think that it's so cute. Like when I opened it up and I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So this is the frontal that I'm going to be bleaching the knots on and you guys this is Eunice hair once again and I'm trying to hold it up to the wall so you guys can see and then I'm gonna turn it around so you can see how high quality this looks it looks really good getting close to where you can see the knots that I'm gonna be bleaching as you can see okay Okay, so here's my frontal. Okay, I have it sitting on a whiteboard, so I'm gonna try to do this so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I am just gonna take the product that I mixed, okay, and I'm just gonna take it and just start. And you don't want to press it in, it's the whole key. Do not press it in, you want to just kind of wipe it on there just like this okay let me see if I can go this way you just want to wipe it on there just like that okay so this is the finished part all I did was not really press it on there what you just want to kind of just dab it through just so that it gets on the knots to bleach the knots okay once again it's a very strong smell so just be prepared for that when I first did this I wasn't prepared for that smell and so I kind of freaked out and um, tried to hurry up and find me something to cover over my nose so just for anybody that's never done this before just be prepared for the strong, it's like a strong, strong bleach smell while you're doing it. So I try to hurry up and rush through it. Um, I don't 
want anybody to take my advice if you want to take your time doing it just make sure that you can be able to handle the smell if not there's things out there you can put over your mouth or your face uh, I mean over your nose <laughs> to prevent that strong smell so it's really good to use aluminum foil I heard it helps the processing time but I don't have foil I have saran wrap and just um, I just want to cover this up just to make sure that it gets um, protected so that if any wind blows because I'm going to be having it sitting here and if any air blows I don't want it to blow the hair the the long hair on top of the bleach and then end up bleaching the hair so I'm going to just take the saran wrap and just put it on top and leave it here for about 45 minutes just to make sure it gets the knots bleached really well so um, and I'm just gonna pat it down just a little bit like so and let this sit and I'll be back with the finished product okay y'all so I washed off all of the all of the bleach and I use once again the shimmering lights conditioner and the shampoo and y'all this stuff smells so freaking good like mmm smells so good so I did kind of mess up in some areas and get blonde on there but that is completely fixable um, as I go through and customize my um, frontal to thin out the edges some more I'm gonna pluck a lot of that blonde out so it's okay if you get the blonde on there don't don't be alarmed um, and then I also want to show y'all how it looks now. It now looks like a scalp, my scalp. <laughs> so, let me show you in some more areas here. Just like that. Okay. And so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to customize the front and make it look more like my hairline when I bought the hair it already kind of looked like it was pre plucked if you can tell let me move my sleeve up it kind of already looks like it's pre plucked so um, I won't have to do much which I love because the other hair that I got from them it wasn't and I don't know who went through and did this for me but thank you Eunice for sending me this frontal that almost looks pre-plucked because it didn't say that it was pre-plucked whenever I purchased it so I'm not mad at it 